Hey everyone, I miss uh, I miss some days. I'm sorry. I just I don't know, man. This is why I don't test schedules because I can never stick to them. I just I always you know I'm doing something and I forget or I, I, by the time I realise it's too late and but uh, as long as I can get to that semi regularly, I'll be happy. But uh, yeah, next up in the using every fighter series is John Hathaway. So this should be fun. Really good. Uh, well, I think he's mo he's. I think his base was wrestling, if I remember correctly, but he had uh, some, some good striking. Um, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but he's well-rounded, for sure. So, five rounds. Uh, ultimate simulation. Well, they have blue corner to mix it up. Uh, by the way, if you guys want me to make a Connor versus Poirier simulation where I watch the fight, let me know. Because uh, I thought about that this morning. I thought it'd be cool, I guess, to sort of commentate over it like it was Universe Mode or something. I think that'd be cool. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Okay. Monsieur Hadaway, where are you, my friend? And who are we going to face? Uh, let's see. As long as we have decently rated calves. Uh, again, though, I don't want to come up against an eight-year overall Askren, so I think I'm just gonna scroll through until I get. Actually, you know what? No, we can just pick a fight. Let's pick a fight. Let's go. Let's go against the 97 overall Alves I had for career. I've not actually faced my own calves that much. At least career calves, which are like really. Oh well, some of them are high rated, like quite high rated. Uh, where should we go? Who do we have? We have either way. We'll go to the Oto Arena. And you know what? I want I, I want to go out like a warrior. I, I want the chance to be a warrior. So, uh, Oto Arena it is. Uh, sorry, Mario Yamasaki it is. Alright. And if you didn't know, all the DLC fighters have uh, UFC 2010 music, which is interesting. Also, um, someone asked for the Sean Shirk uh, walk out music. I extracted all the audio from Manus 3, so I will get that to you. I just need to figure out what it is in game, so. Um, once I find it, I will upload it. Alright. I, I, I remember I built Alves like a Muay Thai fire, you know, head you know, kick based. Um, trying to stick closely to the. To, to, you know, to the real Alves, just. I don't know. With a little different. He doesn't have the Thai uh, style kicks. Just because we couldn't get the, um, because we couldn't get the uh, Thai style low kicks. Also, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna do this again. I want to see. Can I turn the audio off? Let, let's turn the commentary off. There we go. It's just a little distracting. Okay. Right. Let's see what we can do here. Let me know if you want the commentary on or off. Okay, there we go. Get out of the way of that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try and mix it up. There we go. Okay, we've got to be careful. We do not want to be in a tie clinch with Thiago Alves. There you go. Look, looking for some low kicks of our own. I'm sticking the head kick. Let's change levels again. Beautiful. Got him as he was mid strike. Let's see. If we, there we go. To side control. Nice. Scramble back to half guard, and again we get to side control. Let's, let's go to the body a little bit. There we go. Let's work that body. Okay, he's gonna get up. There, oh, I missed it. Okay. Nice job. They're gonna use that up jab. Beautiful. Fade away left hook. Oh, nice. I was a bit like. It was a bad idea there, actually. Go for that naked low kick. I should have set it up, but I got lucky. There we go. Oh, beautiful. He caught me, though. I was trying to faint a low kick or faint the takedown and come in with that up jab. Let's try again. Oh, nice job. Okay. Try to catch that. There we go. Let's, 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 let's put some pressure on him now. See if we can put him against the cage. Oh, look at that. Beautiful job by Thiago. Will we come back with a, with a combination? Okay. We've got to be we got to be real careful because he has a lot of power. Career Alves, of course. Higher rated than uh, roster Alves. 
I love that up jab. There we go. Let's go again. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. Let's get him down. Ah, not able to. Okay, caught that head kick. Yep. All right. Good first round. Uh, I took some damage, but I think we landed well. Got our shots off. And I really like that fake takedown into up jab. It's not really an up jab, considering it's not the lead hand. It's more of a a lunging uppercut, sort of. It's not really an uppercut. It isn't, it isn't. But I like it. Um, I know Frank May has it, and I think Cerrone. I'm not sure. I, I seem to remember there being a, a lead version of it as well. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm just misremembering. Also, I recently found out... Uh, Devin the Dude uh, mentioned this to me on the Undisputed Legacy Discord server. There is actually a glitch in this game to, to uh, constantly reverse all the time. And it's not the punch flick glitch. It's uh, something to do with rotating your analog stick in a certain way. Uh, and you will basically always reverse the, uh, the transition. And the interesting thing is it doesn't work with a PS4 controller. So I suspect it's probably got something to do with the range of motion that a PS2 controller has. That is a fucking beautiful combo. That step in jab, oh my god, and then that sort of up jab uppercut. You know what? Let's see if we can go to the body. Look at that! I love that. That right straight looks nice. I think it's Hendo's. Oh, okay. Let's be careful here. There we go. Nice job there, catching that, but able to sprawl. You got to be quick on the sprawl though, because I, I I remember. Yeah, well, if you try and start sprawling too late, you won't be able to defend the takedown. Oh, look at that! We got that's that's really interesting. That we we faked the takedown, and he went to grab a strike. Unless maybe it was it was like the, it, maybe he um caught went to catch the head kick, but it was instantly as soon as I put the input in, he caught it. So it seemed like it was a takedown, but it was actually the head kick. Let's shoot. There we go. Got him mid-strike. Okay. I love that knee. Machida star. Got him with a head kick. Didn't want to go for that. Oh, you know, I'm going to... Oh, we should try a Vadoom hunt. We should try and sh uh, fake that Technogar for flying in. Like I tried it there, but I just missed. Okay, we've got to set that up, that, that head kick. Ow. Okay. Fade away. Beautiful. Ow, okay. Uh-oh, don't like this. I just threw a head kick just to just to, to throw something at range, but okay, I'm, 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 I need to set up those clinch entries better. I'm, I'm just, I'm telegraphing him too much. <sighs> that body looks a little, a little red. But we're doing okay. And being a career Alves, he's going to be durable. Because he's 97 overall, so he's pretty much in the 90s. Oh, well, not 90s everywhere, but high 80s in pretty much every stat. And 90-something. 90 90-something, I think 91 standing strikes, if I remember correctly. We're pretty high. But look at that, double black eyes. Well, they're not... Well, yeah. So it does, they, in this game, they're not the same colour as a traditional. They're, they're not really the same colour as a black eye. It's more just swelling around the eye. So it's kind of like a black eye, just with, diff, with you know, without the, the dark bruise. Okay, good job. Okay, I got, I got to be. I'm too close. Oh. That was a really nice job. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. Oh, beautiful job. Stuff in there. Let's, let's try the Vadoom. 
Okay. An up jab, man. Sorry, I know it's probably not called an up jab, but I just I'm so used to call it an up jab. Yeah, you, yeah, there we go. Use that jab to to close the distance. Beautiful. Oh wow, butterfly guard. Okay. Look at that. That was a nice time with the head kick. Just managed to close the distance. Learn that one from Devin. Oh, wow. Okay. Just able to block in time. God damn it. I want to go for a flying knee. There we go. Beautiful. He's hurt. I'm trying. I'll try to extend it a little bit. I want to go for a submission. I really want to get that flying knee finish. Got to be careful because he does have high submissions. Oh, one gas. There, uh, well, I didn't want to go. I want to go for the the flying knee. But hey, we got we got two more rounds. I mean, I've been reversing his, a few of his transitions. So that works better than the block. But Successfully able to get that suplex. Beautiful job. And I tried to... Saying beautiful job sounds a bit weird considering I did it. Like, I'm used to doing it. I'm used to saying that when I'm watching a fight. I don't strike counter too much anymore because I... Well, I, I sort of. I do. But, like, I, I strike counter again. I strike counter less, though, because... For a while, my like I just used to fight the AI by um, doing nothing but baiting out strikes with strike cancels and countering. I don't know. I prefer to fight him a little bit less with that now because I don't know. That feels a little bit. I know it's AI, but I don't know. I just it feels more realistic to fight them without that because I don't know. It just just feels better personally. But it did help with figuring out some of the strikes that you know that they react to. Oh, just met me. Oh, yeah, he went for the intercept knee there. Oh, my God. Just got out of the way. Oh, my. Beautiful. I didn't know that was a... Um, a stepping strike. I'm going to get myself knocked out trying over that, aren't I? Oh, well... It's worth the risk. God damn it. I didn't want to do that. But it worked. But I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually... You can actually reverse transitions while rocked. In this game, which is awesome. I'm, I'm going to get that flying any knockout. He's gassed. I didn't want to go for that, but I won't complain. It's just that I think what happens is I don't flick enough before I strike. I, I input the strike before I flick, and that's the problem. But, oh well. I mean, hey, I, I got, I, I, you know, I got the knockout based off of a feint. Which is, so I got, I got halfway to what I wanted to do. But hey. That was a fun fight. I mean, every game, every fight in this game is fun. But, um, yeah, Hathaway's a beast, man. He's really well-rounded. He's got a really nice striking arsenal.
But yeah, to feint a takedown, it's essentially the takedown input, but you can strike cancel if that makes sense. So I guess you call it a grapple cancel. But same it. You just hit block quick enough before um, before you actually start shooting. And because the AR reacts so quickly, you can use that as a feint to uh, get them to open up. Which is really nice. Really useful. I didn't know his nickname was the Hitman. Huh. I like Catman as the Hitman. But, oh well. There you go, mate. UFC champ. Virtually, but still. But yeah, you can use that uh, takedown feint to, to get them to commit to a strike uh, as a counter. Um, and counter them on their counter, if that makes sense. Counter the counter via the takedown feint, which sets that up. Um, yeah, a pretty... Both of us threw over 200 strikes. Me 200, him 250. I landed more kicks fairly even. He landed uh, one more than I did. Yo, what the fu- Oh, 37 takedowns attempted. I was like, what the fuck? A feint counts as a takedown attempt. Okay. Interesting. Okay, right. So I guess it's as soon as you input that, it counts as a takedown attempt rather than maybe certain way through the takedown. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, he performed more transitions. He had more dominant positions. Actually, that's interesting. I'm surprised he had more dominant positions. I was on top more often. Or maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's one fight. I mean, again, like I said, every fight in this game is fun. Just this, this game is such a joy to play. I could play it all day. And I have sometimes. And I probably will again at some point. It's just such a fun game to play. It doesn't get old. I mean, of course, sometimes it can get a little bit... Not stale, but you know, you want to try and mix it up a little bit, which is kind of what I'm doing with this series. Just try and, you know, just mix it up, use some fighters that I might not have used before, or just, I don't know. It, it's cool, it's just, it, yeah, it's something different rotating through a list of all the fighters in the game. So I've not done it before, so some new to try. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, this goes through a random list. I think I'm going to keep it random. So each fighter will be, each episode will use a random fire. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully. Well, eventually we're going to get the low-rated fighters, but uh, I don't know. Do I want the low-rated fighters earlier or at the end? I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, it's, it comes with its own challenge, which is fun. So, uh, I think the low-rated fight in this game is... Uh, yeah, 77 overall. It's Bob Sapp. But probably Kendall Grove is worse overall because Bob Sapp is a heavyweight and he's got insane power. So, it kind of... He has something going for him. So does Kendall Grove. He's got range. He's got nice submissions. But uh, he's got nice moves. But he doesn't have a lot of power and he's not the quickest. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next episode. Oh yeah, real quick, again, let me know if you want me to keep the commentary off or leave it on. Yeah, just let me know. So, for the next episode, uh, I'll set it to whatever you guys want the most. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, my friends.